we just saw a signaling system in which the response was very quick and it got terminated very very quickly we will continue our uh, quest for looking at the modes and principles in this module here we are going to see a system in which the response is very slow but it lasts much longer basically this system is the intracellular receptor system we talked about receptors that are present which are embedded in the plasma membrane and part of their domain is sticking outside the cell so these receptors the intracellular receptors they are present inside the cell in the cytoplasm and therefore their actually ligand has to be a small molecule or a hydrophobic molecule that can penetrate through the plasma membrane because we know the in inner space of the plasma membrane is the hydrophobic region so these receptors they are present inside the cell and when they bind their ligand they have a conformational change this conformational change allows them to attach to the specific region of dna recruit the transcription machinery and produces a messenger rna and ultimately gets converted into proteins this is the primary response from these signaling molecules in response to these signaling molecules the primary response proteins are basically themselves transcription factors or proteins that can bind specific regions of dna and recruit the transcription machinery result which results in ultimately results in production of secondary response proteins these molecules then cause specific effect in the cell so as you can see this is an indirect route the beauty here of this system is it takes long time but it lasts much longer so even if the signaling molecule or the ligand has been removed from the system these proteins they will live on for significant amount of time relatively more than the other proteins that we talked about in the active form and continue producing their effect so examples of ligands that can bind intracellular receptors is on the screen for example cortisol you would notice that all most of these molecules all of these molecules are hydrophobic they have carbon rings in them the examples cortisol estradiol testosterone vitamin d retinoids for example since these molecules are hydrophobic themselves it is they cannot be transported via blood because blood is aqueous environment so it will not be feasible for these molecules to just float in the blood and go wherever they like these molecules are captured by carrier proteins they bind them these proteins have two domains the inner core is hydrophobic that can interact with these molecules the external part of this protein is hydrophilic that can actually move in the water aqueous environment or the blood thereby these signaling molecules ligands are transported to the recipient or the target cell where these molecules can just diffuse through the plasma membrane and bind their receptor without the signaling molecule the receptor has a different conformation and in this conformation the specific sequence of amino acids that target this protein to the nucleus is hidden that special sequence of amino acids in a protein that target to the nucleus is called nls nuclear localization sequence so nuclear localization is hidden somewhere between this fold once this ligand binds the receptor it goes through a conformational chain now exposing these special sequences of amino acids which target this protein to the nucleus where it can bind the specific region and result in transcription of other proteins so here's another more detailed view here is our receptor intracellular receptor it is bound to inhibitory molecule when the ligand binds here it causes a conformational change thereby the inhibitory molecule has to exit this complex and now our intracellular receptor is in active form this also exposes its dna binding domain 
This DNA binding domain will bind specific regions of DNA right here. The other part of this molecule has a domain that can recruit other transcription factors which make the complex transcription complex here shown in pink the structure. So when this happens the RNA polymerase is recruited and it will result in transcription of the target genes and thereby again altering the function of the cell. Let me give you an example of a signaling molecule that produces two different very different results in the target cells. Testosterone for example during puberty it causes growth of pubic hair here at other places and also this signaling molecule testosterone results in hair loss in men which have hair on their scalp which is sensitive to testosterone. So in one part of the body this molecule is responsible for hair loss in the other part of the body this particular molecule is responsible for hair growth. So these are two different opposing effects of the same molecule same, same signaling molecule in different parts of the body.